Welcome to Warn, today news headlines are. ISRO's rocket feat, SpaceX founder Elon Musk tweets praise and challenges ISRO Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX, yesterday praised the Indian Space Research Organization's record-breaking feat of launching 104 satellites on a single rocket. Yeah, awesome achievement by ISRO. Very impressive. Musk, the maverick technology entrepreneur, wrote on Twitter in reply to a question from Twitter user at Floyd Alicious. They are doing India proud, Musk tweeted again. Musk has reasons to be impressed by ISRO's feat as he is on an ambitious project to cut costs of satellite launches. A few hours later Musk tweeted again another tweet ISRO cannot ignore, daylight rocket launch and landing at the Cape this weekend. Will be the first SpaceX flight from the Apollo launch pad. SpaceX will fly the rocket back to Earth, something that should worry ISRO. Indian Army terminates 22 militants in 50 days in JNK. The Army has lost 26 soldiers in the line of duty in Jammu and Kashmir in the first two months of 2017, while the security forces have stepped up the heat against militants, killing 22 ultras in 50 days, the highest since 2010. While 20 army personnel including an officer lost their lives in avalanches in the valley, six soldiers were killed during counterinsurgency operations across the state that led to the killing of 22 militants as well, security officials said here. After Israel, India to develop AEWCS with 360-degree sweep as Indian Air Force has taken delivery of its first indigenous eye in the Sky Netra Airborne Early Warning and Control System. AEWCS, its developer says an advanced version with a 360 degree sweep against the present 240 degrees is on the cards. The next system will be upgraded, with more range and 360 degree coverage, Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, Chairman S. Christopher told IANS on the sidelines of the Aero India 2017 military exposition adding that India will be only the second country in the world after Israel to develop an AEWCS with a 360-degree sweep. Chess Dynamics Showcase Hawkeye Family of Electro-Optical Systems Hawkeye Electro-Optic Vehicle, Fixed and Combat Systems are the subject of discussions on the Chess Dynamics Stand, 05, C31, during IDEX 2017. The Hawkeye Electro-Optic, EO, family employs the latest image processing and system automation techniques to reduce the dependence upon the operator's time and skills. This also reduces the workload and training requirements. Urenco presents innovative solutions for enhanced performances weapons at IDEX 2017 as a European leader in energetic materials for defense and security markets. EURENCO will present its innovative solutions for enhanced performances weapons during the IDEX 2017 exhibition in Abu Dhabi, from February 19 to 23, 2017. IDEX 2017, Verdun showcases its fusion site night and day vision enhancer for the first time, the French company Verdun is displaying its fusion site at IDEX 2017. It's a lightweight night and day vision enhancer combining color low light and thermal cameras, for use separately or using the device's smart fusion technology. IDEX 2017, ECA Group launches new subsidiary dedicated to Middle Eastern market at the occasion of IDEX slash NAVDEX exhibitions, ECA Group is pleased to announce the creation of its subsidiary ECA Middle East in Abu Dhabi. ECA Group wins the trust of new customers in the region and the GCC countries in particular, and identifies numerous business and partnership opportunities in the area. Therefore, in order to be closer to its customers and to better support them, ECA Group creates a new subsidiary in Abu Dhabi, ECA Middle East. UAE Navy procures Raytheon Ram Block 2 missile to enhance Bayonne class Corvette protection. Raytheon announced on day one of IDEX slash NAVDEX 2017 that the United Arab Emirates Navy awarded Raytheon a multi million direct commercial sale for an undisclosed amount of rolling airframe missiles, Rams, Block 2, associated equipment, training, and support. 
French Nuclear Deterrent, Episode 2, The SSBN, A System of Systems Designer, Prime Contractor and Whole Warship Architect for Nuclear-Powered Ballistic Missile Submarines, SSBNs, at all stages of the vessel's life cycle, DCNS is developing know-how and critical competencies within an economic model that has been shaped by the significant constraints encountered in the field of nuclear deterrent. Discover the second episode of our summary of the study published in October 2016 by the FRS, Foundation for Strategic Research. UAC, Russia likely to sign contract for 30 production MiG-35 fighter jets by 2019 The Russian Defense Ministry and the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, are likely to sign a contract for the serial production of over 30 latest MiG-35 fighter jets already in 2018, a source in the military defense complex told TESS. Lockheed Martin to provide Polish Air Force with ELGTR training rounds Lockheed Martin was awarded a $1.9 million contract from Megmer Logistics and Consulting Limited of Poland for production of enhanced laser-guided training rounds, ELGTRs, for the Polish Ministry of Defense, MOD, the US-based defense giant announced on February 17, 2017. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. Please comment your opinion for this news. Press subscribe button for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.